Pass south ramp to San Francisco. Alright, so I am just picked up an Applebee's order, my first... Turn left onto the US 101 south ramp. First order of the night, I'm starting pretty late. Sometimes it's fun to do the late shift. Uh, $16 order from Applebee's, 5 miles. It says 7 minutes on the GPS, but I'm probably going to have to drive back another 10 minutes. Um, In a quarter mile, merge onto US 101 South. To McDonald's, Taco Bell, and whatever else is still out. open. I'm surprised Applebee's is still open. I thought they closed at 11, but I guess I'm wrong. Oh, it's Saturday night. Maybe they're open till midnight. So, just some... Um, Information for other DoorDash drivers, McDonald's drive through line has been very long, all the way to like 3 or 4 a.m. You can get orders, but you're going to be waiting 10, 15, 20 minutes in the drive through lane. It's, I've never seen the drive through lanes open, I mean, uh, so busy in the middle of the night. I mean, used, uh, I don't know, a few months ago, I would go with get nothing between 2 and 3 a.m. Or, and, and not very much between 1 and 2 a.m. But now it's just like you can get all the orders you want. You just have to pick and choose which ones are going to be worth your while. A lot of them go down into Santa Rosa 10 miles. And it's like, well, yeah, that's not quite worth it. Even though it's like $15, it's like, well... I'd rather get two smaller orders in Windsor if I can, but sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. Healdsburg's been pretty good. The McDonald's in Healdsburg drive through lane was really short last night, or nobody was there last night, so I got a couple. And then I um, got a 7 uh, Eleven order, but it was for alcohol, even though it was like $16 and taking me back to Windsor. I was just nervous about taking it because I haven't had real good cooperation with people buying alcohol and showing me their ID. It's like, well, my wife's in bed, so I'm going to come out and get it. And I'll, yeah, I can sign for it, but uh, yeah, I'll bring her ID. Well, you know, there's a chance that they've, it's a stolen ID and they're making up a story, so probably wouldn't get in trouble, but I'm just overly cautious. I would hate to uh, lose my job as a DoorDash driver because I love it so much. I really, <laughs> it sounds funny, but I... In two miles, take exit 494 for River Road toward Calistoga. I delivered a order last night to a couple young dudes, young, young men, whatever you call them, <laughs> and I got a $10 cash tip. It's pretty rare. That was really nice. Um, he even came out to the street to get his food, and he's, you know, he, he was in a, like in a big apartment complex, and sometimes hard to navigate over there on where is it, Shiloh Road? I forget the name of the place, World Mart or something. But a lot of buildings, three stories, nine different buildings or ten different buildings, and they're not labeled very well. You have to really look. I, I think I finally got it figured out or memorized, so almost. Building number six, you kind of go around the back on the 17th hole drive. Building number nine is on the right side. Building number three is on the left side. If you kind of know that, you're in better shape than you would be just going there. They've got to have a map. It's just for some reason it doesn't jump out at me when I drive in there, so I'm Shoot, I should probably take a picture of it and post it on my website for other people to look at. In half a mile, take exit 494 for River Road toward Calistoga. Anyway, so I got this, uh, looks like I'm going to Sutter Hospital. That makes me feel good. Maybe I'm helping out a nurse or a doctor working the late shift, so... Take exit 494, then keep right at the fork. Exit, right? Okay, I didn't think I was taking this exit. Maybe... Oh, it's River Road. Okay, yeah. I am... Keep right at the fork, then turn left onto River Road. Close to this... Wow. Okay, yeah, it's right there. 
So anyway, turn left onto River Road. Signs for Cultural Arts Center. I'm starting to ramble, but uh, that's in half a mile, turn right onto Hospital Event Center. What everybody seems to be doing these days is just rambling. I don't even know what the definition of rambling is anymore. I just do it so much, it's all I do. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, uh, you, have to, you have to suffer through this. It's better to you than my wife, though, man. She gets tired of me really fast. So anyway, yeah, if you're going to be door dashing late night, Taco Bell is, is a pretty good bet. You can usually get two orders from Taco Bell, whereas McDonald's, you never get two orders. I don't know why. Anyway, I got to think about what I'm doing here, make a nice drop off. So I am going to end this video.